What's up YouTube, Danny and welcome to another episode of my trading to Team of Season Di Natale. So we are currently on net to 2,000 coins because all the 5 players I sold in the last or bought in the last episode have all sold for a good amount of profit and I've got 2 Costils, 2 Sigursons and a Chaidu as well. I thought that was the best buy for me, Chaidu I think I bought for 14,250 coins on an open bid and sold them for around 18,000 coins so a good bit of profit there and as you can see over the last couple of episodes I've been just making more profit every episode and as you can see here we, we actually pick up a Brazilian goalkeeper for good profit and hopefully we can sell him on and yeah so on Twitter and again on YouTube I did ask do you want to see maybe less episodes but longer or do you want to see more episodes but a bit shorter and probably most likely daily so you guys like to see maybe a three minute episode every day and that's what I'm hoping to do but this episode is quite long because obviously this is pre-recorded but in the future I'll probably do maybe one to two episodes uh, maybe every three or four days maybe that's what I'm hoping to do and try and make them a bit shorter and get more into it every episode so we actually pick up this Cannavaro I think that's his name I don't think that's I think he's like a brother to the obviously the legendary Cavaro uh, obviously I think he's retired now he's quite old but anyway we pick up a Cavaro there and as you can see again we picked up another Benitez, probably one of my favourite players to trade with because he does have obviously a rare card, he does have a first in form, a second in form and a third in form so that's my tip for you, if you're trading with Benitez I really love trading with him because there's so many on the market and you can really find some cheap deals and if you are going to trade with Benitez just remember there's a lot of versions of him so don't overpay and check websites I personally like to use Ultimate Team Trading, Ultimate Tra Ultimate Team Trading .net. So that's my website of choice and obviously you can use Foothead, you can use Footwares and uh, websites like that. So I go and pick up another Sigurdsson here, another player that I do really enjoy using and the main question of today's episode or this episode 6 could say is I'm going to be doing a Rotor Glory maybe in I think it's about maybe a week, maybe two weeks and tell me if you want to do see that and I've got to start off with one player if you do watch Guzman Daniel he does a, obviously he does a GD project and he does sort of normally start off with one expensive player and yes, so tell me in the comment section below what player you want me to use, ranging from about 200k to 400k. So the ideas I have are Team This Season Goatsa, I have Ibrahimovic and I've got Robin in mind. So leave that in the comment section below. And I've got ideas for ways I can make the team better and obviously make a cheap, overpowered team around him. So look forward to that series being one of the series I've been most requested and one series I've been hoping to make since the start of FIFA 14 and not FIFA 13, sorry. And we're actually down to 50,000 50, coins now, so we have bought a couple of plays in this episode so far. And as you can see, we go and pick up this Dennis, moving on to the second day now. So this is, I think, the third trading session you've already seen. So it is in three minutes, you've already seen three different recordings, you could say. So we're going to pick up this Dennis. He's got 75 pace, but great shot, and he feels so overpowered in game and 82 rated in a 4 4 1 1. So he will sell for quite a lot if I can pick him on a good deal. And I actually am on 15,250 coins, and I was looking at that Rodriguez. Thinking if I can get him, I can make a bit of profit because he does play in the BPL. Sorry if you can hear a bit of background noise. I do actually have the windows open because in England right now, it is so hot at the moment and we don't actually have that much in the year. And maybe about three, four weeks a year, it's actually over 25 degrees. It's so crazy if you come from another country or live in another country. But you know England is such a cold country most of the year, but it's finally hot. And obviously it is the summer, so it's the right time to be hot. But anyway, we get this Dennis here and we actually pick him up 15,750 coins. And as you can see, we won the Team of the Week play, and we're going to sell him for around about 4,000 quid profit, which, as I say, in every episode is what I'm aiming for in each player in this inform. So by the end of the episode, hope to be on around maybe 85, 90,000 coins, and we, you're just seeing that I'm beginning to learn trading a little bit easier, trying to make more signings every episode, and it's just getting easier every episode, and hopefully soon we can be on the 800k mark. And we're about maybe one-tenth of the way, maybe. But all I know, it's going to be a really long series, but we actually pick up that Jalit. Gillette, I think it is. He's, I think he's from Belgium. Yes, he is from Belgium. Don't exactly know how to pronounce his name, but as you can see, we're going to pick up a Maher again. I think that's how you say his name, Maher. I don't know. He's from the Netherlands. I'm not so good with Netherlands names from Holland names, whatever. But he has actually got an inform and a man of the match and a team of the season. So again, as I said with Benitez, people can take advantage of you because obviously you might think that he's at the right price, but then you realise the man of the match is the same price as the one you bought him for if that makes any sense but we actually pick up two for about 12,000 coins which is such a good deal and we can go and sell them on for about 16,000 coins and I hope you guys are learning from the series and picking up some of the trading tips I've used so I've obviously used the silver trading method and obviously now informed trading which is obviously the big one when you get to around the 100k mark and you need to start making those big deals and hopefully we can be to the end of this series by the end of FIFA 13 which is going to be a long series hopefully like 100 episodes hopefully but as, as you can see we're down to 14,000 coins we're going to end the episode here with the uh, we've actually sold all the players, I think after about maybe a couple of hours, but we actually sold two Mahas here. First one going for 16,000, 
And then you can see a Jelle then going for about 18,000. Cannavaro going for 16. That, that Brazilian goalkeeper going for 13. And Benitez going for about 18. And then the other Maher going for about 16,000. Sorry if I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But anyway, we're going to pick up Jose Enrique to see if we can get him on a good bargain because he has, I think that's his, his first in form. He has obviously got the left back version, the first in form, which is a left wing or left mid. And then he's got the second in form, which is going to be a left back. So we're going to end the episode here. We actually pick up this Jose Enrique. We're going to hopefully sell him on for a bit more. But if you have enjoyed the episode, drop a like or leave a like and it'd just be really appreciated. It really motivates me to make more of this series and hopefully you guys enjoy the series. But again, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to answer the questions and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.